Hi, Doug Johnson with Kinetics Noise Control. We're on the show floor at Cedia, and we have an isolation booth here that does a great job of explaining how Kinetics isolates sound, controls the noise in a room, a high decibel room like a theater, from leaving that room and getting to other areas of the house. We'll look at how we do it on the ceiling. This is an ICW ceiling hanger that's attached to the joist and decouples the two layers of finished drywall from the joists and thereby eliminating the mechanical path between the drywall, the joist, and the floors above. ICWs also control impact noise. Think about high heels walking across stone or wood floors. Impact noise can easily transfer into the room below. ICWs control that. The principle is the same on our walls. This is the Isomax drywall isolation clip. It is attached to the stud. This is drywall furring channel, which is purchased at any uh, building supply house. And then the first layer of drywall is attached to the drywall furring channel for, again, a decoupled uh, surface in the room, eliminating noise from transferring in the room to the adjacent room, and also eliminating the transfer of noise into the stud and flanking up to the upper floors. When we look at a floor, our floor is, we're displaying the rim floating floor system. It's a series of fiberglass isolators embedded into a fiberglass bat. They are in uh, 200 square foot rolls, four feet wide by 50 feet long, that are just rolled out onto the subfloor with two layers of plywood screwed and glued and, and floating just on top of the, uh, the rim floating floor. This eliminates, again, controls the noise from transferring in the room to the floors below and it also eliminates impact noise. It controls the impact noise uh, to the floor below. These are just three of the many products that Kinetics uses to control all kinds of noise issues in a residential environment.